Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ken here, and I want to spend some time with you today and dig into could be a very controversial conversation. So I hope you're joining me here. Today, we're going to talk about the single biggest reason why coaches fail. So the big question is this, how is a tiny percentage of entrepreneurs blow the pack away? What are they doing that we're not? I asked myself that question for 10 years. I was failing forward and getting sick of it. I wanted to build a coaching business, but couldn't make any headway. So I started studying. I realized that the world's most elite marketers, entrepreneurs, and gurus were all using the same four-step system. I call it the authority. Factor. On the show, I'm going to prove to you that the authority factor worked for them and it'll work for you. My name is Ken Dunn. Let's get started. And uh, it is, it drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. And you know what's really interesting about this fact, about this failure point that I'm going to talk to you about, is I have studied hundreds and hundreds of people that are coaches of every sort you can imagine, from fitness coaches to diet co- coaches to business coaches, mindset coaches, life coaches, family coaches, you name it. And what I've found in common with most people, I would say 90% of the people that I interview, that I talk to, that are are self-proclaimed coaches, believe it or not, uh, 90% of them are struggling to make money uh, in their business, but it's not what you think. A lot of the people that are struggling are even buying programs online and they're learning the things they need to learn in order to attract attention, to drive traffic, to build their products and services. But they're still failing. They're still failing in spite of that. Now, when I tell you what the reason is that they're failing, this is probably going to kind of flip-flop between a conversation about the coaching industry and where it's at today and personal development. Because it's not about what you don't know. People are failing. Coaches are failing with things that they know. (laughs) Let me explain what I mean. Uh, I've been in the coaching industry for about 20 years. And my coaching business really exploded about eight years ago. Eight years ago now. And it was because, so that means if you think, if you do the math, for about 12 years, I struggled with my coaching business. And it wasn't until I met a guy named Nick Boothman back in 2007 that I really started to get things figured out. Hey, listen, um, if you're joining me live, definitely uh, click on that button and let yourself be recognized by StreamYard and Facebook. It's right above the video. Um, And feel free to add any comments you want because we're going to have a very, very deep conversation about how you get a coaching business off the ground today. Uh, And you need to understand what this failure point is right up front. Uh, The Authority Factory, that's my company, as you guys all know. And the Authority Factor is a program that coaches use to learn how to create the right value ladder for their business, how to create the right products and services for their business, how to create the right entry point. And I think if, if I look deeply at everything that we teach in the Authority Factor, it's that entry point getting people paying attention, getting them to opt into their first offers to buy their first products. It's the front end of the funnel that I think the authority factor has done the best good with people that people know it for the most. But, you know, truth be told, like every online course there is out there, probably 50 to 60 people percent of people who buy the online course, the authority factor and get into the community, get access to all the live training. They don't succeed. Why? Well, before I tell you, I'm I'm also going to qualify that in the authority factor system, in that coaching program, that coaching system, it's really an ecosystem, there are already 17 people that are making millions of dollars a year. There's well over 100 coaches that are making six figures because of this program. But I want to focus on that one thing that leads to failure. But before I do, I want to walk you through really quickly right now exactly what I did to get my coaching business off the ground. Uh, Because I think for those of you that have amassed a significant amount of experience in your life and you're looking to create a coaching business and scale it, uh, there's a lot of people that are still trying to figure out how and why, like how to get a coaching business off the ground. And I can tell you flat out, if, if you've amassed a significant amount of experience in your life, if you've if you've amassed this experience in your life and it's in an area where other people are always asking you for advice, 
and you're constantly serving up your advice based on your expertise to people, then you should start a coaching business. Because of what's happening in the world today, people today are more open than ever before in history to learning from other people, from people who have experience. In other words, the education, first of all, the education system is failing. And the new education system that's being born, it was Dean Graziosi that I think coined the term, the knowledge brokering economy. Essentially what that means is people are more willing to buy from you today than they are the traditional education system. A case in point, they're over, there's over $300 million a day being spent on online courses right now um, that are produced by coaches like you that go to market and, and, um, sell these products and services, these courses, these programs. It's, it's never, ever been like it is before. And it's not going to change. It's just going to, the knowledge brokering industry is going to get more and more legitimate as time goes on. And boy, oh boy, did I ever have to learn this the hard way. I first decided that I wanted to become a coach in 2004. I had sold a mortgage company and, and netted about $10 million, just over $10 million when I did that. And I decided I wanted to be a coach. And I couldn't make any headway. I couldn't get the damn coaching business off the ground. I tried everything. I wasted millions of dollars. And then I met a guy named Nick Boothman, who became my first mentor. And I realized that the fastest way for me to get where I wanted to go is to hire somebody who had already been there and just do what they did, do what they told me to do the fast track, if you will. And so over the next eight years, I hired Nick Boothman, paid him hundreds of thousands. Russell Brunson paid him hundreds of thousands. Uh, Frank Kern, Dean Graziosi, um, Ryan Dice, all totaled. I bet you I've spent over a million dollars learning from these people, but the results, my company makes hundreds of millions of dollars a month. We're we're focused on a million dollar month right now, but we're making hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, helping coaches, helping people like you. What my real expertise is, is helping small business owners to create online products, online courses and digital products, driving traffic to them, selling them, and then nurturing those customers. And, and, and we've got a track record for it. You just have to go to the YouTube channel or check out this page or come to any of the webinars. You'll see that. If you want more information about that, in the notes, I put a link to my website. And you can, you can head over to the website and you can see everything firsthand. So I started learning from these guys. And I wrote a book. And that book, well, the first book I, I wrote failed. But this, I rewrote the book with Nick's help. And that book sold 100,000 copies today and made me millions of dollars in revenue. And that's what I've done. I have four times now I've written a book and then I've turned, I've published the book, sold thousands of copies. My latest book, The Greatest Prospector in the World, hit the Wall Street Journal bestsellers list. And I take the book and turn it into a course. I'm writing a book right now called The Authority Factor. I actually launched the online course first. It's made, the online course has made almost $800,000 in the last year and a half. And now we've got thousands of people in the authority factor program, and I'm launching the book next year. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching programs. We go on major retreats every year. We have a blast in our community. I spend all of my time helping people around me, but it took me freaking eight years of failing and a couple million dollars that I doled out to figure it out. Now, all that said, the what I wanted to talk to you today about was what like when I look back at all of my progress, and I but more importantly, I look at all the people that trusted me and got into these programs or didn't trust me, but I just stumbled along them at some point in time or another, and they were struggling, and I asked them why they were struggling. It wasn't what you think. They all knew that they needed to build an entryway into their businesses. They all knew that they needed to have like some free offers that were really stimulating to their ideal client. It built trust. They all knew that they should have an online course and a coaching program. And I guarantee you probably know that too. Here's why I think they fail. Because they it's, it's not what they knew or didn't knew. 
And it wasn't like procrastination because they were doing things. So if that's what you, where you thought I was going with this, you're wrong. It wasn't procrastination. I think it's actually routine. <laughs> hey, John, how are you, man? Probably has been 20 years. Good to see you, brother. I think it's routine that I think, I think that's the biggest challenge people have. And so if you've developed a significant amount of experience in your life, do yourself a favor and jump into somebody's program, like jump into the Authority Factor program. I will teach you in, in the next three to six months, I'll teach you exactly how to create information products around your experience, how to launch those products, how to get people paying attention to you, how to scale that business and monetize it, and make a boatload of money with it. But you've got to get into a routine with what you're doing. It's routine. Routine is what kills in any coaching business. Let me explain what I mean by that. The fastest way in the world for you to build a coaching business. Well, I shouldn't say that. Some of the things that you have to do if you're going to build a coaching business in any niche is you've got to get in the habit of doing exactly what I'm doing right now is going live on social media channels, on Facebook and Instagram. You've got to be posting videos regularly on YouTube. You've got to be growing a major email list. You've got to be communicating through email with everybody, your ideal clients and customers. And I'll tell you really simply how to do it. Here, here's, how, here's exactly what I do. Um, twice to three times a week, I go live on Facebook and Instagram. Once I go live on Facebook and Instagram, I first I do two things. Number one, I download those videos and I cut those videos up into bite-sized morsels that I use for other things. But two things I do with every video. I, I put a, an introduction on the front end of it and I put it on YouTube. So this video you're watching right now, you'll see it on YouTube or you might be seeing this on YouTube in the future because that's what I do with every video. This video started as a live video on my Facebook page. You might, the first time you hear this video, you might actually hear it in a podcast because I, once I turn it into a YouTube video, I rip the audio out of it and I use this exact same video for the podcast. So if you're hearing it in the podcast, you need to know this started as a Facebook video and then it was a YouTube video. And then once I get that um, audio ripped out, I use a platform online called Temi and I turn the audio into words, cost me about two bucks. And then I rewrite the words and I turn it into an article that I publish on Entrepreneur. I've been a writer with Entrepreneur Magazine for years. And I'll also put it on my website, on the blog page. And then I'll take, once I've got all that done, then I'll do a series of emails that drive traffic to them. And I'll turn the, the original Facebook video into an advertisement. So I went into the Facebook ads manager and I created an audience. Their audience creation tools are amazing. So I created an audience of who my ideal client is. I'll tell you exactly who it is. It's probably why you're watching this video. It's people in Canada, America, United Kingdom and Ireland that are at least 40 years old, that are entrepreneurial spirited, that make at least a hundred grand a year. Like 90% of the people that are watching this fit in that bucket. Why? Because that's my audience. So I created that audience on Facebook in North America, Australia, or sorry, United Kingdom and Ireland. Uh, it's about 9 million people that fit that mold that I created. So every video, this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into an advertisement. I'm going to spend a hundred dollars. And with $100, um, about 10,000 people who are my ideal clients are going to watch this video. So that's how you get to know me. And I promise you this. I'm going to say enough in this video to prove to you I know what I'm talking about and to connect with you because you want to be a coach or you want to scale your coaching business. And you're going to want to learn more. And so the next time you see a video, you're going to watch it again. And, and I'm going to do another video live on Facebook in three days from now. 
I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to download it, turn it into a YouTube video. Take that, turn it into a podcast. Take that, turn it into an article on, on entrepreneur. Then I'm going to run ads to the video. And you're going to see it again and again and again. And then eventually, because you see those over and over again, you're going to say, you know what? I'm really liking the content that Ken creates. And I really want to hear more about that content. And so I, I want to like his Facebook page. I want to like his Instagram page. I want to subscribe to his YouTube channel. I want to um, start reading all of his entrepreneur articles. I want to subscribe to his podcast. And then you end up paying closer attention. And then here's the next thing that happens. Then you're going to see me recommend to you that you can build your own audience this exact same way. And I've created a guide. It's a 20 page guide. I call it your ultimate audience. And there's a link to the guide in the notes for this show. If you're watching this original live uh, video on Facebook, the link is right above. Just click on that link that says your ultimate audience. Download the 20 page guide. It's screenshots. It shows you exactly what buttons to press in the ads manager to create your audience, then how to create video views ads so you can get more people looking at these videos. And then here's the most amazing part. After you've watched 15 or 20 of the videos, because I'm targeting you on each one of them, then I'm in about six months from now, I'm going to go into the ads manager and I'm going to say, um, I want to run ads for my webinars to every single person who's watched at least 50% of my videos or who watches at least 50% of the length of a video. Why do I do that? Think about it. Those are the people that are going to be the most interested in learning more from me. If they're watching every single video I'm doing, it means they take me seriously. They know what I'm talking about. And you can do that for your business. In fact, my best conversions. So I have two webinars that I run every week. One teaches people how to write a book and one teaches people how to build an online course. And the people I run those ads to are the people that have already been watching my videos for six or eight months. So they're more interested and more likely to sign up. That means it costs me less. Friends, that's an entire content calendar laid out for you right there. If you want to learn how to build the online course or write a book and turn it into an online course, just go to my website. All the links are there. But that wasn't the point of why I wanted to, what I wanted to talk to you about. Because what I just, just to state a fact, I just explained to you exactly how I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month in my coaching business right there. Right there. And, and, to make sure that it all happens, I have an entire system in place. So I just shoot these videos three times a week. And then everything else just happens in consequence. And some of the things I don't even do anymore, I've got people that do it because my business is getting so big. But in the beginning, when I first started, I followed that routine every week. Three videos on Facebook, two videos on Instagram, download the videos, turn them into YouTube videos, rip out the audio, turn it into a podcast, Turn the audio into words. Use it in an article on Entrepreneur. Run $100 worth of, run an, a, spend $100 running ads on Facebook to every one of the videos. Build my webinars. Build my online courses. Run the ads for my webinars so I can sell my online courses to the people that watched all the videos. Because now I've got a separate audience that I call your ultimate audience, which is the people who like me the most. Is this making sense? If this makes sense to you, if you're on uh, YouTube, make a comment. Just say, yeah, this makes sense. Yeah. If you have any questions about it, I'll come back and I'll watch the post. This is the other thing. You've got to engage with the people that are watching your videos. And when you do your original live video on Facebook, don't feel like you got to wait if there's not a lot of people watching it. The, the old rule about Facebook videos is you go live for the replay. Put that, actually, I'd like to know that you're, you're listening to this or you're watching this. If you're watching this on YouTube or on Facebook, um, come type that in the comments. If you're watching this right now, type that in the comments, go live for the replay. So you don't, you don't sit there and wait till you got a hundred people on cause you'll never get a hundred people on. If you turn every video, every video you do into a video views ad the way, the exact way I've described to you over time with consistently consistency, you will eventually get thousands of people watching every video you're doing. Hey, Pastora Yasmin, nice to see you. Nice to see you. 
But so if I've, if I've just laid out for you the entire strategy that I use to build a multi-million dollar co coaching business, then why is it that, and, and everybody knows about this, why is it that people fail? It's not that they don't try. That's the thing I want to get across to you. It's not procrastination that they don't try. It's that the thing they forget that they need to do the most is turn it into a routine. The biggest mistake that causes 90% of coaches fail is not the information they know or they don't know because there's a lot of failing coaches that know exactly what I've told you. They've learned it in my courses, but they don't succeed because they don't turn it into a routine. You've got to turn it into a routine. Now, even if you're wondering about the content to create, that's not even, that's a no brainer. It's just, you create a client journey right up. You ask yourself, who's your ideal client, which you're going to know because you created that profile for your Facebook audience. And then what's the big problem you help them to solve? And then what's the steps you're going to lead them through in solving the problem? Just put the steps together. Step one, discover why it happened. Step two, develop a plan to fix it. Step three, uh, change. Um, let's talk about weight loss. Change your, your diet. Start eating properly. Step four, um, start fitness in your life. Step five, change your habits. Step six, get some accountability. Step seven, um, monitor your first 30 days. Step eight, repeat the first 30 days every 30 days. Friends, that is the content outline for an entire coaching business around weight loss. Once you have all of those steps in the journey, then you just go back and in each step, you write out every single action item, every detail that's relevant to that step. That's a content calendar right there. You will end up between 60 and 80 action items, little bullet points. Every week you go live and you do two to three live videos a week around that point. And every week you've got a new one. That'll do enough content for a whole year. And you get into this routine. If you follow this for a single year, I promise you, you launch the online courses. If you want to know more about how to, how to develop the products, build the online courses and one-on-one -on -one coaching, then click on the link and get over to my website and learn about the Authority Factor program. I've helped 17 people just like you that have watched this video to create million-dollar businesses, coaching businesses. Yeah, I know. It's, it's been a while, brother. It really has. Um, yeah, I'll check out your page afterwards, John, to see where you're at. I'll send you a private message. We should reconnect. That'd be fun. So I, I've taught all those people to do that. And I've seen them building their online courses and launching their online courses, but I've never seen them hit like the ones that I've seen some of them that make millions of dollars, but the vast majority of them, they, 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 they make money. They just don't make a ton of money. And the reason why it just goes back to what I've said today, the biggest reason people never reach their full potential in the coaching business, it's because they don't make it a routine. So if you're making ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month right now, and you feel like you're banging your head against the wall because you can't get past that mark, you're stop inventing new products. Your products work. Take a look at your routine. You've got to become consistent. If people are truly going to trust you to spend money with you and to buy into your coaching program, what you've got to prove to them up front is that you're going to be there. The way you do that on social media is consistent content publishing. I don't care what anybody says. The coaches that I've invested money in, I have spent a lot of money with them because I followed them first on social media for a while and I saw they were always there and they were taking it seriously. If you want people to take it seriously, you've got to take it seriously. So follow the advice I gave you in this show, but get consistent, make it a routine. How do you do that? I've got a calendar. Actually, I'll show you my calendar here. I think I can share my screen. Now I won't bother because you'll probably see this in the podcast, but I've got a calendar where I say, the days of the week and the times of day that I'm going to do my live videos. And they're not the same every week. I fit it into my schedule. But the beginning of the week in a planning session that I do on Sunday nights, I say I'm doing this video here, this video here, and this video here. And the rest takes care of itself. That's all you got to do. And then once the, just one more little piece. Once this video is live, once the Instagram 
video is live, once the podcast is live, once the YouTube video is live, once the article is published on Entrepreneur, then I can go back into each of those platforms to that specific piece of content and I can add the links to the description for the other version. So if you're what listening to this in the podcast, in the show's notes, you're going to see, watch this video on YouTube, watch this video on Facebook, watch this video on Instagram, read this article on Entrepreneur. And you might not be a writer with Entrepreneur, but you sure as heck can create a blog and put it on a blog. Doing the root, getting in the routine of publishing content like that, creating a content calendar, that's all you have to do to it. It's not complicated. Oh, Pastor Yasmin says, this is profound. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your comments. So that's, I guess that's really what I wanted to share with everybody in the show today is you can learn the things, but what's really going to make you successful and help you to scale your business is creating a routine. Hey, if you like this show, then do me a favor. If you're uh, watching this on or listening to this on the podcast, do me a favor and give us a five-star review and uh, leave a comment for us. Let everybody know how much you appreciate this. If you're watching this on Facebook, share it. If you're watching this on Instagram, share it. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on because I promise you, I will be a routine. We'll see you soon.